Well, we've seen partly to mostly cloudy skies for today. Now just partly cloudy to mostly sunny outside. 80 degrees at our SkyCam network from Packard La Prey looking at downtown Beaumont. 55% relative humidity. Winds are out of the south and west at six miles per hour this evening. Expecting to see those uh, partly cloudy skies overnight tonight. Again, very partly cloudy for overnight tonight. And again, all the rain activity way out to the west of us. And then even a severe thunderstorm watch box going going on in Tennessee all across at least eastern half of Tennessee with that bow echo moving on through some pretty good showers and thunderstorms building up there. In the meantime, we have clear skies for the most part and a couple of clouds. 85 though up in Jasper, 86 in Woodville, 84 over in Kirbyville, 81 over in Orange, 83 down at the airport, 81 in Port Arthur, a little cooler at Sabine Pass at 78 degrees. Very warm temperatures yesterday. We saw some 100 plus readings. We're seeing that again today. Midland at 100, 101 in Pecos, out in the West Texas town of El Paso, 96 degrees. It's warm in downtown Del Rio at 98, as you could expect Laredo at 102, but only into the 80s and 90s across most of East and Southeast Texas, still 90 up in Dallas as well. In the meantime, we still have a little bit of dry air in place and that will again be moistening up a little bit gradually as we work our way through this week and we see those rain chances increasing for at least a couple of days this week. But your Mother's Day forecast looking nice. I'll show you that in just a moment. Clouds also on the increase overnight tonight, dipping down only into the upper 60s. Highs tomorrow will be back into the middle 80s and then we'll look for again plenty of sunshine to return for your Monday and most of Tuesday Stay looking pretty nice. Only a slight chance for a shower on Tuesday. In the meantime, planning on doing some fishing. Looks like seas offshore are going to be running about two to four. Make, make that one to two feet if they calm down a little bit. Also, we'll look for partly cloudy skies, slightly choppy in the bay. South winds at 10 knots. A full schedule of tides for tomorrow for Sabine Pass. First high tide early in the morning and then another one at 143 in the afternoon. 78th water temperature, by the way, in the Gulf of Mexico. Partly cloudy overnight tonight. South winds at 3 to 10 miles per hour. 67 to 69 degrees are overnight lows. Yeah, it's going to feel a little warmer, a little more muggy, of course, with the higher humidity than partly cloudy. Warm conditions for tomorrow. Southerly winds will continue to increase our moisture, but no rain in the forecast for Monday. We'll look for highs to be back into the middle to upper 80s. 87 or 88 up in the lakes area, mid 80s for the triangle. Here's your seven day forecast with only a slight coverage of a shower possible on Tuesday, mainly in the afternoon. A weak cold front will be pushing into our area on Wednesday morning. Northwest winds taking over 30% coverage. Now these fronts are weak, but they are enough to generate a couple of showers and they are enough to at least cool us down back into the lower 60s for overnight lows and give us a little bit of lower humidity temporarily, very brief, and then we start warming back up. Another cold front Friday night and early Saturday morning will generate a couple of showers then. Only a 20% coverage Thursday night and Friday morning. Look at Mother's Day Sunday, 59 degrees, and then highs back to near 80 with low humidity, it looks like on Sunday at this time. So again, that's really far down the road and things could change, but right now, Kelsey, it looks very nice for uh, Mother's Day afternoon. That's awesome. That looks like an incredible week. I cannot wait. Yeah, just a couple of showers here and there, but no really big deal. You know, nothing to wash out, uh, you know, your outdoor plans for this week. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks, James.